Mm. Hello and a namaste. Keep the virus away. So far, so good. And uh, good to see you all. I see there's a, oh, there's a, a line of Indian folk at the back there. Hi, uh, sit up please, thank you. Oh, there's a German lady over here, thank you. Give me your attention, please. I see the American, uh, yeah, they're all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, I can see. Right, today I am going to talk about handwriting and I'm going to talk about stretching and uh, squashing. Okay, let's press on with it. Right, first things first, the pen I'm using here is a Unipin Fine Line. I bought a stack of them, I think you get about nine actually, they're all different sizes. Uh, they're not expensive either, and they're lovely pens made by Mitsubishi. Uh, put a link below. Don't forget, hold the pen like this with three fingers and thumb, two fingers and thumb round there, and hold it in your fingers. Don't crunch it up, don't put fingers all over the place. Hold it like this, move from your wrist and your fingers together. Have a practice and do some simple moves like this. Okay, and then you'll be ready to go. Now then, the issue I'm dealing with here is I was writing on a painting. And I'll just show you. It's so it like this. This is in the Yorkshire Dales. Let me see the whole thing. And I was going to write on here Yorkshire Dales, but I didn't want it too big, so I had to go quite small. And I had to squash it up, and it looked a lot better for being, I say squashed up, but kept close. So I'm going to put it here with this pen, and uh, I'm going to keep it fairly close in. So here we go. last year so I do that okay and for being close in and not filling up too much space I think that looked a lot better than being stretched out so let's just have a look at the difference so let me put uh, the words so, uh, not squashed up but condensed condensed okay let's do that a bit again or stretched I think you can see the difference I'm talking about. So if you're going to write, let's put Yorkshire Dales again. Do once more. Then stretch it out a certain amount, but if you overdo it, It just doesn't look good. Let's put it too tight. So to practice this is good fun. As you imagine, you've got to write it between those two lines. That'd be a bit of a struggle. But there wasn't there. So have a think about so let's just start over again and just write. Think about, whoops, stretching and Squashing or condensing your hand writing. I prefer to try and keep. Letters and 
words condensed rather than spread out or there we go okay that was just a little practice earlier so try and keep the letters stretched or squashed whichever way you prefer i think condensing them does a better job than otherwise let me try one more so once you've done a few practice runs to get this rhythm which i've spoken about before Let's try some writing. Um, let me just try and condense it a little bit more. Right. And not let's let's try stretch right now this is my fountain pen which is thin and thick thin that way thick that way and uh, if I do these shapes you see how nice it is right let me try and keep this well spaced. Let me keep the writing well spaced, not too condensed. like this and not too stretched like this but just enough Okay, so there you have it. Uh, don't forget the basics for handwriting. Hold a pencil or pen in a particular way. Work away from your wrist and your fingers. And uh, I'm thinking now of squashing and stretching. My tendency is to stretch too much. And if I squash in, it tends to help. So if that's good for you, great. At whatever level you're doing this, whether it's just a shopping list, a letter you might be writing, or an address on an envelope, have a think about not stretching it out too far, but keeping it nice and controlled and a little bit tighter in. And I think that might help. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I can see everybody else still here. Hi, everybody. Uh, does Namaste keep the virus away? Is that good for going away, saying goodbye? Don't know. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.